Hello, good morning. It is morning. It's 8.15 in the morning on December 31st. I need coffee. <laughs> I need coffee, um, a big cup of coffee today. Um, welcome to my channel, Lady Gem. My name is Glennis. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a bit tired today. I, yesterday, and I started to vlog it, but then I was just like, whatever. My mom, my sister, my daughter, myself, we, well, I drove to and from DC to the King of Prussia Mall, and which is right outside of Pennsylvania. Um, it's about an hour and a half drive. So the going was okay. Um, and so was the coming, but the going was, was, you know, you take 95 and you know, you whatever the other routes are when you get into Pennsylvania. And then, so we got there, we got there around one o'clock. And then I'm gonna get to the meat of the video, just one second, but I'm just explaining why I'm tired this morning. <laughs> so we went to the mall, uh, it's a regular mall. I thought it was gonna be different, but it has the same things that, you know, all the other malls have. So anyhow, so I, we spent about an hour in the mall. <laughs> we spent about an hour in the mall. My daughter, she only bought, well, we went to, well, we spent an hour in the mall and we went to the Primark store. Now, when I studied abroad, I studied um, in Manchester, England, way back when. Lord, it's going on 20 years. Oh, anyhow, um, I remember the Primark store it's a department store, um, but I don't remember it being as cheap <laughs> in England as it as the one here in America. I mean, we went into the one to that, and things were very, very, very cheap. Like, I dropped, bought some hoop earrings because I'm sure y'all are probably tired, tired to see me wear, uh, you know, um, some of these. When I put on a hearing, I just leave it on and then whatever. Um, and my jewelry are all, I'm just, they're all, they're all gold. I don't usually wear fake um, jewelry. I'm from Guyana. We, gold is one of our main exports. Um, and gold, our gold in Guyana are um, one of the better quality gold in the world um, because of how, Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm a little bit of a teacher at heart. Um, back when the continents were together, um, South America and Africa were, were joined together before they split. And so our um, topography, soil, whatever, earth, whatever, is similar to that of central um, subtropical Africa. So, um, um, you know, the... the whatever God did to make the earth the way how it is, our goal is very similar to what you would find it in, um, in Central Africa, which is one of the best goal you can find. So anyhow, my point is Guyana gold. Usually this is American gold, but this is Guyana gold. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Go anyhow, higher quality gold is more, um, like a reddish hue to it than I than it actually being yellow you would think a yellow I mean yellow gold is better but no it's it's the reddish it has a little reddish tint to it and my point is I bought some fake earrings <laughs> some fake hoop earrings at um, at the Primark and none of them cost more than three dollars or so the clothes are really cheap. My daughter only bought one pants. And for her, that was, she, you know, with her shopaholic self, my child, like her mama, she got expensive taste. And she did not see anything in there that she liked. I mean, I am, I'm only laughing because it was funny seeing her, like, literally breezing through the things and not picking up anything. And I'm not downing anybody who, you know, who, who that's what you do and that's where you shop or you get pleasure out of that. That's just not me. 
but it was funny seeing her being my child even she didn't even shop in the mall she only bought candy in the mall so and most mostly the the trip was just for the drive and this is the part where so now coming back i put in our address and i put it in ways i use ways and ways just blanked out in my car and this is for me i believe that everything happens for a reason i believe in the provenance of god everything happens for a reason and so ways was not working on in my car and so i had to use the car gps which i rarely use because it's I, I need to update it but it's rarely i rarely use it right because i like where ways will tell me if there's a cop up ahead because i'm speeding <laughs> and also with traffic so it diverts me um like my car does not do that right anyhow first i got turned around getting out of the mall and um we did not go back the way we did not come back the way we went <laughs> I found a road right up outside of the mall that says 202 and we have a 202 here in DC so I was like okay I'm gonna take 202 and this and the car GPS will redirect me back to 95 you yeah, know the 202 took me the scenic route of southern Pennsylvania so I'm assuming I drove down Philly and I drove down south not on I-95 but the scenic route um, and then on parts of it was route one. So, and then, um, and then it turned back into route one. And then I drove off someplace, I don't know. And then back on route one in Maryland. So basically we came home the scenic route, which it was a one and a half hour trip um, going. And it was a three and a half hour trip coming back. Uh, so I am tired. <laughs> but anyhow it was a fun the the coming back my mom wanted to just drive and go somewhere right and i mean you know my mom is my mom and we were expecting to come back at 995 and this is why i believe god in the providence of god um i'm gonna get through i read it because i was with driving my mom she wanted to scenic route so we were taking a scenic route and so she was just quiet because i don't like people talking to me when i'm driving so she but so we were just absorbing the scene but in driving i was reflecting my mom she's sick um and so i was you know reflecting that there's a reason god have us going down this route um just because i don't know what the end of the year will be i don't know I don't know how long I have my mom and um, I'm not a crier <laughs> but dear um, and so we were just I was just giving her you know the trip that she wanted which was just to drive in the scenic route and but then I got but then again you know for me driving is somewhat relaxing in the sense that it's monotonous and I can process out my my thoughts and so just i was just thinking of things you know um my husband and i we, we my husband is a pastor I, I teach at our church and so you know we have goals um for our church and so you know while i was driving um i was letting god i was be i was i blanked out everything else all the cares of the world i guess and just concentrate on on thinking through things that for the coming year that and for and 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 for the future that you know god um would probably want us to do in ministry ministry work and for me mental health is is a big thing as an and this is this video has gone way off topic as an anxiety sufferer who is working on overcoming it um that that for me is something big and um you know, it's not talked a lot about in church. I did not intend this video to go this way. But again, I believe God allows everything to happen for a reason. And and for me, my anxiety that I suffer, that I started to suffer two years now, yeah? Um, he allowed it for a reason. So that's how I look at that. Um, and so I was just thinking of a... During the drive, I was thinking of a way how um, we can incorporate, you know, our ministry with mental health services. And that's a goal of mine in our church um i think i i firmly believe that church is for sick people it's the hospital for sick sick people um 
and physical il illnesses because I do believe God um, um, is is a healer. I firmly, firmly believe that he can heal physical as well as mental. Um, and it's, it's how you, um, it's all in how you um, allow him to use you in, in, in your healing process if you open up to the healing process and studying and teaching the bible this past year and a half or so i can definitely see how those writers back two thousand four thousand years ago were um were addressing mental illness without saying anxiety without saying anxiety did i just say anxiety again you know what I'm saying, without using those words. It's, um, you know, they call it the father of lies. Um, they call um, anxiety, you know, um, um, the accuser, um, you know. And yes, he, it's also it's a spirit. I'm going off top, but I think, let me just go with this video. I don't know why, but let me just go with it. Um, I was going to do my Olaplex sla um, uh, product in this video, but I'm just going to do that in a separate video. I think God is guiding me doing this right now for a reason. And anyhow, <laughs> um, I just believe that, you know, there's healing in the word and studying and, ha and having a relationship with God. I believe in that relationship, it, it comes healing. And it's interesting. This is why he got me doing this. Okay, so I'm teaching the class on Saturday. We we're Sabbath observers. No judgment. That's just no judgment from me. If you do any other day, whatever, that's just um, God's revelation to me. And um, our lesson topic is called the Day of Salvation. And as I'm preparing to study that. Um, and it says the day of salvation is now. That's one of the main topic. That's one of the main scripture. The day of salvation is now. Now, I don't know how folks um, understand or translate the word salvation, but the, the Greek word and the Hebrew word, it just means to deliver, to heal, to, um, you know, uh, to save is the, the, the English translation back whenever, you know, the Bible was translated. They used the word save but it means the same thing it means to to heal to deliver so the day of healing is now is it, there's healing in the scriptures in having that relationship with god no matter where you are be it physical or mental um you put yourself there or you didn't the powers that be put you there or or you know or whatever um there's healing in god and you know i i firmly believe that those writers knew about the human condition um the struggles that we go through the pressures that we put ourselves under it is not just a modern concept it's an ancient concept the struggle for knowing who we are what why we were here why were we created um what's our purpose you know, those ancient writers knew about that because they had the same questions. And we still have those same questions today. And be, they were able to tap into the energy, love, um, God, and find the answer, you know. Um, you know, they, they God revealed to them the answer, which... It, and I, I say this to my church a lot, and it may sound cliche-ish, but the answer to our problems in this world, at its core, is love. Love is, God is love, right? So the answer is God, but the answer is love. And because we, um, <laughs> we understand love differently and we practice love differently, some people just see love for me, myself, and I. Some people see love just for those who look like them. And some people see love as a human need. Uh, and so therefore are able to express and show 
that love on the human scale and not just me, myself and I, or for those that just look like me, um, you know, uh, it's, it's the answer. It could solve so much of our, <clears throat> of our problems. And I think that that's why for me, again, I think everything happens for a reason. And I think that's COVID and I don't know how this video is going to go, but I think one of the reasons that God allowed this period of time to happen is that for us to recognize that death is the great equalizer. I am no better than you. You know better than me. You, yes, you may have more. Yes, I may have more. Yes, you may have less. But that does not make me any better um, than you. And so that is something I'm also working on. Um, I've talked about this in my in Tuesday Night Bible class. We had a confession. Um, and it's something that I'm working on in my own pride. Um, in my, <laughs> And so that's something that for 2021 that I'm going to be working on is not to attach um, any sort of value to these stuff I've accumulated. They're just things. And so, I mean, I knew that but on a deeper sense. And so that's why I want to stop accumulating them. I want to put what God, the resources that he's given me to better, better, bigger he uses, not better, but bigger uses. And so, um, again, I didn't expect this video to go this way and I am going to upload this video, but folks, as we come to the end of 2020, um, a lot of folks in 2019, were saying, oh, they can't, they want 20, 2019 to be over and done with and forget 2019. 2020 is going to be the year of whatever, all possibilities. Yeah, God had other plans, right? And the thing that I hope everybody, even though it's been a tough year for a lot, lots of people died, lots of people lost their jobs. You know, we see the wickedness in humans again. Um, I think that on this last day of 2020, if you are still here, I think, um, the appropriate answer would be say, thank God that I made it to 20, to la make it out through 2020, um, by his grace and his mercy, because it could have been the other way. Right. And the thing is, is to definitely appreciate whatever 2020 has brought in your life this year everything is for a reason and it's for your growth that's how i look at it my 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 maturity my growth and so i am gonna look back on 2020 with um i wouldn't say fondness but with a new discovery of who i am what i'm capable of mentally um because 2020 has definitely, God has allowed where I'm able to go at a slower pace. He has made opportunities for me where I can go at a slower pace, where therefore I can re recover more. And, you know, for me, it was, some people were like, 2020 is a waste. Not, not for me. It's not a waste. It was a gift. And I thank God for every single day of 2020. And I look forward to whatever he will bring in 2021. Um, I pray that it will be continued health, continued. I pray daily for his wisdom, y'all. That's that's the key. I, I ask God every day for his wisdom, his wisdom, his knowledge, and his understanding. I try not to lean to my own. I try not to, um, I try to, uh, as I teach, I try to, um, look at things through the lens of love if, if it doesn't match up with love if what comes out on the other side of this of whatever i'm gonna say or do does not come out with love on this side it's best not to do it and that even goes to the social media world if it goes with if you ain't got nothing nice to say don't say it uh, if you if you if your intentions of doing something is for me myself and i don't do it um it has to come out on the other side with love and, and, and so I pray that for 2021, that I continue on that journey to continue to whatever comes out on this side, this is love. This is love. It comes through the, this love filter. Um, and so, 
Okay, I guess I'm excited for what 2021 brings, but not in the sense that yay, 2020 is the over and done with, but on the continued projected path of what God has for my life. Um, and so it's, it's, I've learned a lot this year and I, I hope to, I hope my mom is still there with me. It's my, my, my grandmother passed away. My mom was 42. And when I turned 40 this year, my sister was like, this is going to be an interesting decade for me. Um, and so I can see, you know, my mom, she's slowly declining. She doesn't think that she is. She's a nurse. She doesn't think that she is, but I recognize that she is. And I, I thank God for every day that I get the call that, she, you know, she calls me or I called her, um, that she's okay. And so that car ride yesterday, I think we both needed it. Even though we were quiet, we didn't say much. I think, in her, I don't know what she was thinking in her head, um, but I know that I enjoyed that moment with her, that three and a half hours, even though in the moment, I not looking back, in the moment, I was enjoying it. I, I consciously made an effort to be present and to enjoy just her sitting there in the front seat. And even though I was lost in my thoughts sometimes, I was like thinking, you know, thank God. Thank you. Thank you, God, for this opportunity that I'm able to take my mom on this ride. Because some, some haven't been able to, you know. Okay. That's it um, for this video. It's gone off script. But thank you for watching. And I hope that you, this is, this is, this goes, this, this chat, I, so, I guess, goes in the vein of what I want to do with my channel eventually it's um it's me glennis Alrighty, thank you have a good one enjoy every day that he give you just be in the present don't try to don't don't try to have your thoughts run away with you that's the devil stealing that moment from you and that's something that with my dealing with my anxiety that's what i try to remember that's the devil trying to steal that moment right then and there that he has blessed me with and so i say mm -mm, not this moment satan <laughs> but anyhow i was saying <laughs>